when you think of memories in your life, you don't necessarily recall them in order. So I try to create a atmosphere where there's still a logical sense to the transpiring of events, but it's happening in a non-chronological way. It's about sort of what, who people are, but also what they're representing for him inside this kind of emotional memory space. As I was writing it, it started off as just like catharsis writing for me. And then over the course of a few years, I would go back to it and it sort of leapt off of that and became something else entirely. You know, this is basically a story of a toxic relationship. My character, I think he probably gets a little bit too emotionally involved. Aaron wants nothing more than for someone to be loyal to him back as much as he is loyal to the people in his life. Wes is going through a dilemma within his identity and what he wants to do with himself. Wes is extremely passionate about the things he likes, about his life, about where he should be in life, and he's unhappy situated where he currently is. There are a lot of scenes in this play actually where people are communicating across long distances. I like the way that it can be intimate in terms of like two lovers face to face or it takes you inside like a, a G chat. I think it, it's almost unrealistic not to include a Facebook chat in a, in a play that's about relationships forming in the present day. There's phone scenes as well, things that could be over FaceTime or Skype for instance. I think all of those mediums affect the way we communicate with each other, especially when it's someone that we love saying like taco son taco dancing woman like that means something to me <laughs> and, <laughs> and hopefully it's gonna be something to this person as well i mean it's 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 the language we use now it's really gonna be a treat for the audiences to be able to be present and follow a story that's not necessarily in a linear fashion definitely it requires you to really 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 listen this is one night only at dixon place in their lovely main stage arena and uh, it'll be Thursday, August 18th, 2016 at 7.30 p.m.